So what is it that the text blender can do for you? I have found some examples. This example has been made by a Portuguese team. It has a video. You can click on any word, look up the word in a dictionary, in this case from Portuguese to English, change the target language, let's say you wanted it in Polish, and there you have the result. When you come back to the text blender, when you go to the end, it can link on to a next exercise, which you click, and the text is now followed by an exercise made in hot potatoes. Another example is made by the Danish team. It makes use of a video called RoboMo by Friendly Robotics. I can start the video. RoboMo by Friendly Robotics. I can scroll through the text. And if there is a word I don't understand, I click on that word and the word is looked up in an English-Danish dictionary. Having watched the video, I click on a next button, which takes me to exercises produced in hot potatoes. The first one is a crossword puzzle. The next one is a drag and drop exercise. There is a fill in exercise, a gap fill exercise but I have to type in the missing words. And the final exercise is a mixed up sentence where I have to find the order of all these words and put them in the right sequence. Final example of what the text blender can do for you is a small sequence of exercises about PLC programming. They start with an audio. Writing your first program. Click on a word that I do not understand in this case, I have selected an English to Spanish dictionary. I click on Performed. So what exactly is it that the Tech Blender has done? It has created a web page with a headline. There is an audio, an instruction for the user. There is a text where each word has been linked to online dictionaries. There is a graphics, another text or text block, another graphics, and so it continues. The final output of this web page is that you can click on next and the page has been linked to the next exercise. In this case here, it links to a new web page. At the end, there is also information for the end user, who is the speaker, Gordon Wells. This example page has been made by the Swiss team. Again, it has a headline. It makes use of a YouTube video, which we can start. Ensure that the equipment is prepared and check that the laryngoscope is working. And again, you can click on any word. This has been linked from English into Italian. To see more examples of what the Text Blender can do for you, go to www.languages.dk, which is the pool's website. You have a selection of different learning units, and we have units in a lot of different languages. You can also go to the Tools area, where you can see some example units created with the Text Blender.